Welcome back to the foodie finale of tonight's show. For those just joining us, Erica, what are you cooking the two Johnnies tonight? Are you gonna? Yeah, <laughs> they have to help me though, right? <laughs> That's alright. He's, cookie cookie dinner. He's um, got the knife and fork ready. He's... This, the poor boys say they don't cook a huge bit, so I'm delighted to cook you a homemade meal oh, tonight, smashing. guys. Um, so I'm making spaghetti with squash. So not the spaghetti is not made out of squash. It's pasta spaghetti with squash, or you can use pumpkin as well because we're coming into the Because I can't season. imagine that many of us use squash really no, as an ingredient. See, like just butternut squash is a flaking vegetable. Now I'll tell you. Flaking. Very underrated vegetable, butternut squash. I'd often have it now into a stir fry or anything like that. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, get it into you. Bulks it out. Yeah. It's easy because it's one massive thing. You know, you don't have to. Now you nearly lose an, an arm trying to peel it. Look <laughs> at the shape. <laughs> Look at the shape. <laughs> kind of true. Where do you start with that yolk? Look at that. Exactly. Where do you start? Well, yeah. So something like that, I'd always start with making a, a flat area for you, so it's not rolling around. So take the top, the bottom, and cut in half, and then I'd peel nearly based onto something. Um, it that's, is. Sorry, that's and a, it gets that's a great kind idea. of sticky <laughs> as well um, on your hands. So it is. Quite, it is quite dangerous. So actually. Cutting it in half before you begin, just to give yourself a little bit more. Thank you. But in fact, Top health and safety tips. <laughs> yep. Health and safety, all about it. There yeah. you go. Listen, but with the both of them, um, the pumpkin might be, have a little bit of a harder skin, both of which you can actually eat the skin. Both have higher fiber. They're, they will take that bit longer to cook, but they are delicious and completely edible. I know people are a bit, might be a bit weirded out by it, so I've peeled them today. But okay. yeah, you and can. actually, if you want to cheat, you can just buy the bags already done, can't you, anyway, <laughs> in the supermarket? Yeah, right, yeah. you can. Okay, first step, Erica, what are we doing then? We know all your, all, yeah, yeah. All your tips to cheat, no, yeah, Karen. No, yeah. totally fair enough, you can, of course. Um, okay, so really simple recipe. Um, I'm putting a good bit of lovely olive oil in there and garlic, okay? So the garlic is going in not too hot. I might want it a little bit hotter, but I'm not, I don't want to burn it, essentially. But what we're going to do is cook the garlic for a minute and a little bit of chilli. Obviously, you can leave it out if there's people who don't like heat in the house. I'm just putting a little bit of chilli flakes. Would you not be tempted to put it in? Do you see your man on the internet with the... Salt bay? Yeah, you can actually be... Chilli bay. Chilli bay. Chili... Oh, I actually yeah. just got a little chilli chili pendant on holidays there. Well, 100 pounds sterling for a burger so off salt bay. You've never heard of salt bay? No. Oh, he's an internet guys. sensation and he's opened up a restaurant and he just actually fancy puts the salt in like that, bounces <laughs> it off his elbow. No way. He yeah. wears tiny little glasses. She's over on Instagram's back up now. There you, there you go. All the mass of celebs go to his restaurant, yeah. don't they? Yeah, we can't afford it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> Spot fair, paying that well. <laughs> I love it. Um, anyway, we, we can all smell this here now. It's gorgeous. It's just mm. garlic and the chilli and some olive oil. Really simple. I'm going Decent in with the Decent garlic. How much did you put in there? That's about four. Yeah, I love, I love okay, a great. So we don't want the garlic to burn because it goes bitter. And actually, initially, they might do a whole clove and take it out. They just use it to flavour the oil, but I love it all the way through. So we're just going to toss the butternut squash while it's still that little bit hot. Get a little bit of colour on it. Not, not brown it. Oh, fly it around the floor. And a little bit of salt and pepper. It's still good. Yeah. Still, yeah. Five <laughs> seconds, five seconds. Pick <laughs> it up. <laughs> no, yeah. we'll pick it up well. later. We'll wash it. Yeah. Um, and really, guys, this is it. So what you want to do is get that. Now we're getting colour there a little bit. That's great. Mm. Once you get that, you turn it down. Couldn't be simpler. So deadly for if you're in a rush or running around the house or you don't want to wash up loads of things. You don't have to cook spaghetti in water. Exactly. This cook is very controversial here. here now, Erica. What are you doing? Oh, flying off the side. <clears throat> Erica, you're doing that now, so you don't have to do a load of washing up. I know. That's, yeah. I know, I know your game now. You're putting the pasta in there and all together. Oh, well, I'm not washing another yeah, pot, exactly. pot, you know. But aren't we all like that, especially after the lockdowns and everything? We're all just seeing. And someone said to me, why don't you base your recipes on how much washing up pasta we've done afterwards? I said, that's a really good yeah, idea. idea yeah. Yeah. Show everybody what happens. So obviously we know the spaghetti gets a bit uh, easier to push down into the water. And once it's fully submerged, you want to get it up boiling. Keep an eye on it. The tend the uh, butter and squash goes soft and the pasta goes soft. It takes about 10 minutes. It's not the speediest. And are you using the same amount of water as you would if you were boiling pasta normally? Probably less. less. I'd always have a good vat of water when I'm no doing yeah, normally, normally yeah. But for this one, you want just above it, so it's, it's absorption method, like I do with rice sometimes. Okay. So then to go on top of it, we have this amazing cheese, which I'm going to give you all a taste. This comes from Puglia, where I just was in Italy, and that's why I'm great. I, honest God, I thought that was a bread roll. <laughs> yeah. I, I swear to God, I, I thought that was, that was, was a bread roll. I like give you a taste. It's That's been there for the last lit. 10 minutes. I've been like, that's oh, it's a rubber duck. <laughs> 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 it doesn't look like a rubber duck. actually it's does. It's absolutely delicious. Is this Italian cheese now? Oh, sorry, I'm after It's Italian. No, it's fine. Sorry. I was trying to show the it's, camera. Um, Italian cheese, basically smoked can eat mozzarella. Skin? Yeah, you can eat all the skin. Oh, so really they bake it, it, but I'm actually just going to fold it through the hot pasta and then serve it to you. It's grand, no? Do you like that? 
And we won't be that bit... fancy, like, cheese <laughs> not, party snob. Not very late. <laughs> no. Cheddar, no. <laughs> what do you think, That no? wouldn't lace the boot of a baby bell, no. I'll tell wouldn't... you that straight out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to you again, boys. It is thing. the texture of a, a baby bell. The texture is... Yeah. Um... I'd be more of a cheese string kind of man now, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Other cheeses are available. Yeah. They are actually. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. We don't want to I use this course. You can use anything, but I love the smokiness. With so what did you say? Called again? Scamores. So it's. I will never remember the name of that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get but to you'll remember either. what it looks like. Yeah. Don't Scamorza. you? Scamores. What would be an alternative if you can't find that? <laughs> you could use any any cheese. Really, you could put parmesan or something on top when it's finished. But I like to put the smokiness in there because I think it adds. to... Butternut squash is gorgeous, but if it's going to be on its own, maybe it needs a little bit of a help. And then you've toasted off some pine nuts. Toasted off pine nuts, which I, I think have to be toasted nearly. They're, they're, oh, really? They're just much nicer. They Even bring if you're the using flavor. them in a salad, you'd still toast them? 100%. Oh. Even, especially in a salad. Do you toast your pine nuts or do you just throw them in the back? <laughs> you saw the pine nuts. If the pine nuts aren't toasted, I'm not eating them. <laughs> I just... Throw them out the window. That, that's out on the window. writer list yeah. at the three arena. The yeah. rest of the pine nuts are made. That's just it. give it to the dog. If they're, not, if they're not toasted, like, what are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to just give you all this. So bit. what do you call this? So I've called it, there is an Italian name, I can't, I, some, hang on one second, Johnny A or Johnny B, I can't remember, Johnny, 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 Sorry, they're the most expensive plates I've ever seen in my life. Sustainable. So spaghetti, bit of butternut squash and easy singles. Yeah, that's all the boys, that's all the boys one. Spaghetti hoops.